conventional metal-on-metal -metal slip rings are prone to error. These errors are due to the contact resistance of the metal-on-metal -metal connection. Here we are measuring bit error rate, or the ratio of bad bits over the total number of bits sent. A bit is the simplest representation of data. It represents a logic zero or one. And when that zero or one is wrong, that is what we call a bit error. This tester works by sending a known pattern through a slip ring and then comparing it to the output on the opposite side for any differences. The bit error rate is calculated by taking the ratio of the number of bad bits, or bit errors, and then dividing that by the total number of bits sent. A higher bit error rate means errors in the data that are being sent. All of this data that was sent that has errors will now need to be retransmitted, and this can either slow the data speeds or cause other unwanted problems in your data. Now let's look at port 1. Under port 1 you can see four indication lights. The first light is green, showing that there is a connection. Underneath that, there are three red lights. These red lights show that there are currently bit errors in the system. If we go further down in the port 1 column, we will see the bit error count and the bit error rate. The bit error count is continually going up as we have more and more bit errors as the unit rotates. We are averaging around 7 bit errors for every million bits that are passed. We look at the port 1 column again. We can start by looking at the BERT status indicator lights. Here we can see that all four of our status indication lights are green meaning that we have not had a single BERT error or any other problems with our Ethernet signal. Farther down in that column, we can see the bit error count is zero, which consequently means that our bit error rate is also zero. The benefits provided by a Rotocon brushless slip ring are perfect signal and power transmission, including gigabit Ethernet connections no matter the rotational speed. 